with a well-known rapper in his hometown of Bogalusa. Officials say a family member was also shot and survived. Now, when police were there, they also got a call of a second shooting a few minutes away near Ott and Marshall Richardson Roads. That's where they found a car shot up, but thankfully no one was hurt. And then fast forward later in the night, a third shooting a few blocks away from Our Lady of the Angels Hospital where a home was shot up. Police Chief Kendall Bullen believes all three shootings are connected and part of a bigger issue. Of there seems to be two sides when rappers, uh, they seem to battle with each other or whatever, and you, you have the side that's followers of J.D. Young and the sides that are against them. And it and appears a lot of times some of our shootings and things in the, in the young age community are, are people that are on opposite sides of, of the rappers they follow and support. Like we started our rapping together, you know what I'm saying? But we end up doing our own shit at the same time, but we still together though. Like we still do something together, you feel me? That shit will never change, but we had started doing our own shit. Like he dropped the tape, I dropped the tape, we might drop one together and drop two separate. That's how we doing this shit. Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this time things are not looking good for Jay the Youngin's crew. Last week, the Bogalusa Police Department announced that 16 members of his squad were getting hit with some heavy RICO charges, stemming from an investigation that started all the way back in 2017 and was carried out as a collaboration between five different agencies. From money laundering to racketeering, it looks like the Alphabet Boys did a lot of digging to find every single time anyone in Jay's crew stepped on the wrong side of the law, allegedly. Among those suspected is none other than the late J.D. Youngin's best friend, Mark Amos, more commonly known as FG Famous, who was arrested in August of 2022 in connection with a couple of retaliation shootings that went down on the night of Jay's hit. Still, most of the charges are tied to incidents that went down before the chaos that ensued after Jay was murked. And if he were still alive today, he'd probably be facing some serious charges in the pen himself. As of right now, it hasn't been announced what kind of time his crew will be facing, but it's gonna be interesting to see who folds and takes a plea deal and who puts loyalty on top. The indictment is pretty recent and the press has been real quiet about the specifics of what's going on and what's going down behind closed doors. But you already know how we do, so without further ado, Let's skip the play play and get down to business. If you don't remember what happened to Jaden Youngin and the craziness that engulfed the streets of Bogalusa after his hit, you already know I ain't about to leave y'all in the dark. So let's rewind and break it down right quick. On July 27th, 2022, 24-year-old Javorius Scott, otherwise known by his rap name Jaden Youngin, was sitting in the front yard of his Bogalusa, Louisiana home on Superior Avenue with his dad, Kenyatta Scott Sr. Up until that day, J.D. Youngin had been busy breaking records and taking names in the rap world, making a name for himself on all kinds of platforms and enjoying the perks of mainstream success. With multiple millions of followers on the gram and a loyal fan base, Jay was living the dream of every kid on the streets of Bogalusa. But that afternoon, his dream was cut short when a black truck pulled up in front of his house and three dudes hopped out with guns. His dad, who survived the incident, says he and Jay tried running inside the house, but two more armed thugs surrounded them and a violent shootout ensued. Even though Scott was armed and tried to shoot back at the attackers, they were outnumbered, and he ended up getting shot twice in the arm, and Jay the Youngin himself ended up getting hit about eight times, according to Bruh's dad. In the time it took the cops to get there, Jay lost a lot of blood. The paramedics quickly took him to the hospital for surgery, but he sadly passed away at the hospital, leaving behind his dad and his girlfriend, Karina V, who had also lost a newborn baby she had with Jay about a month before the murky. That's tragic, yo. Later that night, the cops got a call about another incident in which a car got shot up. And just a couple of hours later, there was yet another shooting at a house close to Our Lady of the Angels Hospital. Now, when police were there, they also got a call of a second shooting a few minutes away near Odd and Marshall Richardson Roads. That's where they found a car shot up, but thankfully no one was hurt. And then fast forward, later in the night, a third shooting a few blocks away from Our Lady of the Angels Hospital where a home was shot up. Police Chief Kendall Bullen believes all three shootings are connected and part of a bigger issue of 
took a while for the cops to figure out what went down that night and if the shootings were all somehow connected, but the official story is that after Jay the Younger got shot up, his crew got word and they started sliding on their ops pretty much immediately. To this day, it's still unknown who hit Jay, but just a couple of weeks after the incident, the cops seemed to be pretty sure of who had been involved in the retaliation hits when they arrested FG Famous in August of 2022. It's been alleged that on the night of Jay the Youngin's hit, FG got word of the incident less than an hour after it happened and that he crashed out for bruh big time, spinning the block to avenge his fallen brother without thinking twice. Later in 2022, FG Famous dropped his song Me and My Brother, in which he made it more than clear that he was planning to be out on the streets exacting revenge for his bro. Just listen to these lyrics, yo. Now I'm lost without you, but somebody gon' suffer. Saw your face on the news and I cried a whole puddle. I put that on you, I'ma stand for you, brother. You know I'ma touch them and ish on the mothers. Hit the scoop and run down with them cutters. Gotta do that for Jay. We stay with each other damn near every day. Pretty powerful stuff, but unfortunately for FG and the rest of Jay the Youngin's crew, it looks like they're the ones who gonna end up suffering big time. On February 6th, the DA of Franklinton, Louisiana announced that 16 members of Jay's crew, consisting of 15 dudes and one female, were getting hit with some heavy RICO charges. This wasn't exactly surprising to anybody who had been following the chaos on the streets of Louisiana since Jay the Youngin's passing, but wait till you hear about them charges. According to several newspapers from Bogalusa, the investigation was carried out as a collab between the DA's office, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, the Washington Parish Sheriff's Office, the Bogalusa Police Department, and the Franklinton Police Department. Man, with that kind of firepower stacked against you, how you gonna escape a RICO charge? These guys really was not planned and they took more than six years to gather all the information to bring Jay's crew to justice. The main accusation was that the crew was operating a firearms and narcotics distribution network in Washington and St. Tommany parishes with the specific charges including hit, attempted hit, solicitation to commit a hit, kidnapping, unlawful possession and trafficking of firearms, distribution of controlled dangerous substances, possession of controlled substances with the intent to distribute, money laundering, obstruction of justice, possession of Schedule II substances, and tampering with evidence. Man, that's a lot of charges I can't front. And the worst part is that's not even all of them. And this was just the second indictment. The first indictment took place on September 20 of 2023 when the DA's office and the Louisiana State Police announced that 25 people from Jay's crew were being accused of moving $20 million worth of mm on the streets of Louisiana from 2022 to 2023. 20 million? Man, ain't no way, bruh. Now, I ain't a lawyer, but I know things ain't looking too good for Jay's crew. And if you look at the timelines of the investigation, if Jay himself hadn't got murked, he would also be facing similar charges and some serious time in the big house. According to Bogalusa PD, the 15 gentlemen and lady who got indicted had all been under investigation since 2017, which means the charges didn't just spring up out of nowhere after Jay's passing. Nah, they had it coming from way back when Jay was still alive and doing his thing. As for who's included in the list, some of the names you might not recognize because some of the accused aren't even from Louisiana, with some of them coming from Fort Worth and Killeen, Texas. But among the indicted are Kenyatta Scott Sr., who is his father, Mark Amos, AKA FG Famous, Joe Black, Jamar McGowan, and out of the 16 members, the one female was 37-year-old Brittany Mays of Jonesboro, Georgia. And here's the thing, y'all. Everybody says that they ride or die with their crew when things are going smooth. But when the cops step in and gangsters start to face some real possibilities of spending the rest of their lives behind bars, loyalties get broken, friendships get thrown out the window, and confessions start coming out of left and right, even from the dudes who said they'd never rat on a fellow gang member. It's gonna be interesting to see how it all plays out in the interrogation room, but you already know I'ma keep y'all updated, y'all. Until then, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all. Rest in peace to Jay the Youngin', man.